Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. And we are, today we're gonna do some matting and embellishing in the uh, album that we're currently making with the Remnants Lovely Layers printable mini album template. And the paper collection is Santorini by Prima. The album was actually designed to be used with the large cutoff pieces. So when you cut your 12 by 12 down to run through your printer, um, you have all these scraps left over, so that's why it's called remnants. It's because it's meant to be matted with these pieces. So, we're going to stick with these pieces. And we also have um, pieces, hang on, let me grab them. We also have pieces left over from when we made the cover. So we have those two large pieces and a few little small cutoff pieces. And then we're using some muted backgrounds. So, when we go to use muted backgrounds, I'll tell you which one we're using. So, uh, you guys bear with me today. I'm still not feeling well from yesterday. I'm not 100%, uh, but I have a good idea of kind of what I want to do in the first pages. So, the pages are not stuck to the cover yet. That's just something to hold, to prop it open so it doesn't flop on itself. But I do have the tape on the spine, so when it's time to attach it, it's already there. So, I'm going to leave it out of the covers until we're done uh, matting um, and embellishing. So, I'm going to set the cover aside, but we're going to be working on this front page. So, I'm going to keep it close because I want to make sure that the look I get, the look I'm going for, shows through the window. So, we'll see, whoops, we'll see how that goes considering I don't feel well. <laughs> so, just bear with me. Um, it's just my allergies. So, so anyway, so I have a kind of an idea of where I'm going with this. So what I did is on page 11 is this little small envelope. And we used some of those in the back here um, when, we finished, when we did this page. Oh, I will link the playlist below to, the, uh, to this template. So we first made this album, the pre Love Story 1. Um, and it's numbered 1 through something <laughs> and then when we started on this album the Santorini um, I started the numbering over but it's all in the playlist and it goes in order so if you start at this top work your way down uh, you will never get lost you will always be in order so I will link that below in the description box and I will also link the templates below and I will link the products below as best I can um, I have an Amazon page they call it a store amazon store and what i did is they've changed the way we can do that now so what i did is i've now made like a list it's like a section so for example the things that we're using in this album if i can find it on amazon or an equivalent to it'll be in that section so um, I think that's a really good idea. Even the paper trim, all of that will be in there. So if you are new to my channel and you're like, what is that paper trimmer? You go to that Amazon link and you can look at the list and see the different things that I'm using um, will be there, including like the paper line. Um, the things that, you know, won't be there are like the LDRS dies and stuff like that because they're not available on Amazon. So, um, but there will be links in the description box below if you're interested in any of the products or just want to check them out. Um, so be sure to check that below. It'll say show more. So just open that show more box and all of that stuff will be there. Um, so, okay. So what my idea is, I printed page 11. This is just cream colored, regular, thin copy paper. So I actually printed it off three times. Or you can trace it. You can make yourself a traceable template and trace it. Because I wanted three of these little envelopes here. I kind of want to, I think I'm going to do like a little stack of envelopes. So, let me scoot. All I did is, I'm going to turn this away from this bigger sheet here. I've actually done this before. I've done this idea before. I should have grabbed it. Let me go see if I can find it. So I've done this before. So here is, it's like a little stack of letters. This is the medium keepsake box. Um, I'll try to remember to link, um, link it below if I can find it. Um, we even have a real wax seal right there and everything. And I even did it on the cover. 
of the mini album that's inside. So I'm kind of wanting to do this um, and have it here. So that's kind of the direction that I'm going. So I've already cut out two of them. So let me just real quickly cut this out. Um, again, I am taking some allergy medicine. And for anybody who's ever taken allergy medicine, it makes you kind of a little loopy, depending on the person on the allergy medicine. But anyway, so just bear with me, you guys. You guys were so sweet in the comments um, from yesterday's video, wishing me well and hoping that I get to feeling better and all of that. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm not even going to score this because it's just copy paper and it should fold right where it's supposed to because of the way you cut it out. Does that make sense? And then I'm going to fold this part up like that. And I'm going to fold this part up. Okay, so before... Uh, before we go any further, I think what I'm going to do is in two of them, I'm going to put some fun foam. This is just, you know, you can get a pack of like a, a big pack of like multicolored. So this was just, um, this is like a light brown color. I just thought it would look better. You wouldn't see through it. So like since it's such a thin copy paper, if I had purple under there, you'd be able to see it. Does that make sense? So I'm going to give this a little bit of... Um, poofiness by adding the fun foam inside of there. So I'm going to fold one of these up real quick. And I'm just going to give myself a gauge here. And I'm not even going to measure. I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to give myself a, a little room on this, this away. So I'm going to cut two pieces. I need this one. So I'm going to insert these in two of the envelopes before I close it up like this. So it just gives it some thickness, you know, so it doesn't get squishy. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. So I'm going to insert that in there and now I'm just going to glue I'm going to glue it all together. I'm not even going to pay any attention because that's going to be covered up. Two of them are going to be covered up anyway. <laughs> so, you notice I haven't even inked yet. This is art glitter glue. So, there's one. You can kind of see my little glue, but that's okay. And then here's the other. So maybe I should be a little bit more careful. We don't want to see the glue marks. But again, two of them are going to be covered up completely, so it's not going to matter. Not completely, but you know what I mean. Oh, look, I didn't even fold that one right. This is actually supposed to be <laughs> underneath the flap, but that's okay. We'll make sure that's turned upside down. Oh, I still need that. And so for this one, before I ink it, I'm going to squish it in my hands like this, right? And I think it's going to be up this way. So let's see. How do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close it up even before I ink because um, I have kind of an idea. I think it'll be fun. We'll see. Whoops. What am I doing putting glue there? I'm losing my mind. And I'm even going to glue this top part. Like that. Let's get this foam foam out of the way. Right? So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ink them. This is our cobble ink and potting soil. And a Tim Holtz blending tool and I think I'm going to 
I'm uh, probably not gonna do the backs of that, but I am gonna I'm gonna grab something real quick. This is just a glassine bag that I've been using to ink stuff like this. I'm gonna get this edge. Even though the, you're not gonna see the back side, but I wanted to get the edge. Right? Um, let me go ahead and get these. <coughs> Oh, we're not gonna see that side. We're gonna see this side. I need to get a new thingy, a new pad for my blending tool. And I probably could have wrinkled these up just a little bit. So they're going to be like layered up, so you're not going to see most of, of that. It's just kind of, so if you didn't even want to print the envelope out and you just wanted to make like a rectangle, you know, poofiness, you could do that too. Um, so anyway, so my thought was, you know, when we open envelopes, usually we tear the edge or if you have a letter opener. Um, I don't actually have a letter opener, but so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to tear the opening on the top like that. I think I might put a little dab of glue right there. Maybe not too far. Oops. So I'm going to have like letters and things sticking out of the top of the open, let not letter, but like, yeah, letters sticking out of the top of this opening and it's gonna be on the top. Does that make sense? So let me, I wish you guys could see the state of my desk right now, or my, my um, I never know what to call this area, my space, my creative space, my, um, I don't know. Okay. We're just grunging it up. It's all we're doing. I'm working on like two or three different projects at one time, so I have to be careful when I film because I might accidentally show you something um, that I don't want you to see yet. So I was thinking about having them layered on here, right there, so they'll be seen through the window, and then we'll have some things through here. So, um... Let's see, how do I want to do this? I kind of want this one at this angle. There we go. So I am going to take some glue. This one I want at this angle, did I already say that? And I'm going to glue this one to the next one like this. Right, and then I'm gonna glue this one to the last one. I don't want that going like that. Maybe like that. So I think that'll look cute, and when it's glued down, it'll add a little bit of bulk, but not any more than I would usually add. So I wanted to do like an, a wax seal. So here's my binder of build embellishments, and I've added tabs. I put them in order, one, two, three, four, <laughs> um, in the because I had them all random in here. But this is my binder of build embellishments, and I wanted to get one of these wax seals. I think I'm going to use the screen one. So I'm just going to cut that free from those and put this back. One day we'll decorate my cover, my binder there. So I'm going to take my Tim Holtz mini snips here and I'm not going to emboss this one like we have in the past. I'm just going to ink it up and stick it on there. 
I think. Okay. So I'm thinking that'd be cute right there. And then I want to use some twine. Now, I have been using this twine that I used in my Maticon albums, and I still have a bunch of it, like, off of the row. It's not twine. Is it twine? Let me grab one that hasn't been opened. On a cord, it's twine-ish. So that's what it is. Um, on a cord. So I'm going to use a piece of this, and I'm going to, like, wrap it around. I don't know uh, which way I want to wrap it. But let me attach this first. Or should I put it over top of the twine? Maybe I should put it over top of the twine. I don't know. Let's see. It might, um, might look better if it was part of that envelope and then we went the twine over top of it. Let's, let's stick it down real quick just a little bit so that we could pull it up if we want to. And then, so I was thinking about, you know, a bundle of letters. We're not going to go on top because there's going to be um, things sticking out there. So, I wrap it around a few times. So, it kind of looks like that. What do we think? And if we wanted to, we could stuff some stuff. But let's do that. So, what do we got going on here? I'm just going to take a regular piece of scotch tape and tape it down to the back here. Just like that. No big deal. Because it's going to get glued down anyway. And I'm going to cut the extra off. So I'm thinking it'll go here, right? I love it. Whoa, moving my lights. So that's going to be like the main embellishment here. So now we need to think about matting everything, including the envelope. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do, I've got this paper clip down here, is I want to put, I want to add a closure to this. So I'm just going to use a simple, I'm going to use a magnet and, um, whoa. Okay. <laughs> These are the magnets that I've been using. I will link them below. Uh, they're not necessarily cheaper than the basic gray magnets. They just might be easily more readily available. I don't know. Um, the basic gray are my favorite, but sometimes they're hard to find. But these are the ones I've been using through the whole album. I ordered a bunch. Um, they were real quick shipping and all of that. So, But you can also use the ones from Home Depot and then, of course, your basic gray. But I am going to use... Like, here's the Home Depot magnets right there. <laughs> um, but I'm going to use a washer. Uh, this is just a, a little teeny tiny, what's it say, zinc washer from Home Depot when I bought the magnets. So that way we're not wasting um, the real strong magnets on something like this because there's not going to be a lot of pressure. It's just to keep it closed. So... That being said, I just want to wash her. I'm just going to grab one here. And just going to grab one of these little magnets that I've got loose. Just 
say so it all like connect that away. Now I just need to figure out, well I need to make sure it will connect. Yes. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to put the washer on the back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. So I'm just going to grab some tape. This is scrapbook.com double-sided tape. Oh, that also reminds me, um, I don't know why I just did it this way. I usually just cut a piece off like that. Um, as with any kind of adhesive, whether it be double-sided tape, liquid glue, um, clear glue, you know, white glue, any of that, your environment makes them work differently. So, that being said, um, you may not like the scrapbook.com ta scrapbook tape because it doesn't work in your area, but the Sequain score tape does work in your area. So, my advice would always to be just buy one, check it out, see if you like it, and then go from there. Um, because it depends on the humidity, it depends on everything in your area. So, use what works best in your area. Um, and depending on what you're doing. Like, you might like the cheaper double-sided tapes for smaller, or not smaller, but like not as important areas, like the binding, for example, or building the pages. Um, you, you may not want to use the cheaper version. You may want to use the best one that you have, okay? So, always keep that in mind, and remember that it, it makes a difference where you live, how adhesives work. So, be sure to always you know, test things out before you buy a bunch of, of one thing, I guess. So I'm going to stick this here somewhere in the middle, like that, or close enough to the middle anyways. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, I have it facing the direct, the proper direction. So I need to flip this over and put a piece of tape on that. This is the way I normally, well, now I can't find the end. Awesome. Oh, there it is. Going the wrong way. I just usually cut off a little, a little square and stick it down like that. It's a little easier. And then I'm going to grab a post-it note and I'm going to put it on the the uh, magnet there and I'm going to attach it down like that and then I'm going to smoosh it. So when I pull it up it doesn't hold on to that. Okay. Just like that. So then it'll close and it'll keep it closed. So now that we have that let's talk about matting the envelope. All right, the mats for this envelope, this is envelope number two. It's on page, the mats are on page 23, but this is my workbook, and I will link below um, how to make this workbook, and it's the everlasting workbook, and I made this the exact same way. So, I laminated the main pages, and then all of the mats I cut out and stuck to that uh, page to the corresponding page. So um, this is the mat and it's on page 23. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these just real quick. And is that the small pocket? Yes. So I'm going to also on this page is that small pocket that's on that page. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I'm going to grab that too. And then the other thing we're going to need is, even though I don't really need, I just need it for the height, is one of these page mats. So, this one is on page 16, or 17, it's the same thing. So, we got all of our mats. So, here's the envelope mats, and then there's that. So, I want to start with the envelope, and I'm wanting to make the, ooh, that would be, that would be perfect. 
These are just scraps. So how cute would that be on the lid there? The lid, is that what it's called? Even though I feel like I might be wasting a little bit of paper, I just think that'd be cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up here. And I'm gonna trace it out. No big deal. So this one, ooh, I got it a little crooked. Oh well. No, I don't want it crooked. I want it straight. So let me retrace it. And then I probably still didn't get it right, but that's okay. I am pressing a little too hard. You don't need to press that hard. There, that looks a little better. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay, so then that'll go there. Won't that be cute? I think that's adorable. You can still kind of see my lines, but... So that'll go there. And then, I wonder if we should use this on the bottom here. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So the mat's gonna be like this. So make sure you're tracing it correctly. When you place it down on your paper, make sure you're putting it in the right spot. You know, it would be a really clever idea. It might be expensive, <laughs> but it could be really clever if you're wanting to pick specific spots on your paper is to um, print all of these out on transparencies so you could see through it. You know, that might be um, kind of a, a, a cool idea depending on what you're making and how many of them you're making. So I think it would be expensive, but I think it's a good idea. Okay, so then that'll be there, that'll be there. That is so cute. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ink these two pieces up and I'm gonna attach them down because I know that I want to do that. I want those pieces there, I think it's cute. And I think I'm just gonna, since I got my art glitter glue out, I think I'm just gonna use it attach these down. You can use a tape runner, use whatever. I didn't. I should have double checked this, you guys, because I think I might have traced it upside down, but that's okay. And then this one. So then, before we go any further, let's look at this for a second. That'll be there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, so now I need to think about what I want there. And I think what I'm gonna do is I wonder, this is left over from the cover where we did, where we matted the bows. How would you, what do you think? Do you think that would look good? on there I think it would so let's let's do that I think what we'll do is since it doesn't really matter um, there's really no direction I'm just gonna lay this on here and trace it out oh this is muted the muted backgrounds I told you I was gonna sh tell you all didn't I this is my muted backgrounds 
And the ones that we're using for this album is number two, number three, and number 12. So they're just, actually, I just printed these onto regular copy paper. Um, so those are the three colors that match this collection perfectly. So since we've already got, you know, cardstock, it we can use just regular copy paper as a mat for some of the elements. So that's what um, that's what we're going to be using for this album. So then let me go ahead and trace this one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these out and ink them up and be right back. Okay, so these are both cut out and inked up. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and attach them down because I think it looks super good together. So that's what the end result of the front of the envelope look like. Doesn't that look pretty cool? I think so. So let's go ahead and put some glue on here and attach them down. Have to be careful with this type of glue and this thin copy paper. You can see through it if you're not careful. So, whoops. So I'm just gonna lay this here. Like that. And then this one goes here. that and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down so I'm gonna add some glue here and add some glue here so let's attach that and that hold it for a second and We've got the front done. Now we need to do the back and we need to do the inside. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the inside of the envelope in the number 12 muted background. So, so when I go to, let me see which way this is supposed to go. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got it laying right because I should have flipped this over for the outside of the envelope, but that's okay. Or I should have checked it, I mean. So I'm just going to trace around this. I don't even need to trace that part, but I did. And then I'm gonna take the mat for the back of the envelope and I'm gonna butt it right up here and trace just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. We're just gonna Maybe just basically cover the magnet, I guess. I probably should have done that first versus last. So I'm just gonna cut this out and then um, ink it up. Oops, boy, I'm way off there. Good knit, my scissors went a little, um, the caddy won't. Before I, before I go and ink those up, I think I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what I want for the back side here. So, I might just happen to have, ooh, I do just happen to have pieces that might be perfect. There we go, that one's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this piece that I happen to have and I'm gonna trace it. It just happens to be perfect. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Like I said, these are these are um, scraps left over. I'm working on a new template, as most of you may know. So these are scraps left over from that, the prototypes on that. So I can't tell you, I can't show you what it is, but... Uh, but anyway, just know that these are left over from the prototype. So I'm still working on it, actually. So that's part of my mess that I got going on here. All right, so now I'm going to ink these three pieces up, and then I will be right back. 
All right, so I've got them all inked up. Let's just go ahead and attach them. Good. I love this craft color with this paper line. It's just so pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to be careful here. Again, I probably should have done this before I closed her up, but that's okay. Since the glue dries clear, and quickly, goodness, there we go. So now that magnet's covered up, nothing will bump into it and be stopped. Let's go ahead and put this one. Look at how bad I cut that out. See, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Just goes to show you how I feel today. Not, not well. All right, I should have, these are all the pieces, remember in the last video, I told you I was gonna cut out all the different little pieces left. So the insert should be in here. I'm pretty sure this is it right here. Yep, that's it. And I'm gonna put these back aside. So, I think we're going to wait to um, mat the inserts because, again, I'm going to just strictly go with the pieces that I have here, the large pieces I have left from the cover, and the muted backgrounds. So, oh, I wonder if it's still going to close. <gasps> no. No, it doesn't, you guys. It closes without it. Oh, man. It's probably because it's not a magnet back there. It's probably because it's just the washer. Well, shoot. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add another magnet. Okay, so that's going to be this way. So I need, the, I need the glue on this side. I should have known that the washer wasn't going to hold through all those layers. And you kind of forget, you know, like I forgot about the insert. But it's just part of it. So we're going to move the back here. And I'm going to lay this in here. Hopefully. There we go. And then squoosh it down. Let it catch it and then squoosh. So now we've got a, <laughs> we've got a magnet, a washer, and a magnet. Magnet, magnet, washer. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So that'll go there like that, and then this will be here. So now we need to mat this part and this part. And so there's the green. I'm thinking we should use the green muted background for the back part here. We might have this laying up. Oh, yes, that's going to be good. That's what we're doing. So, again, I'm just going to lay this on here. You know, you can, um, if you weren't using your large cutoff pieces, you could just simply print the mats out onto your pattern paper and cut them out, and they're good to go. So, um, there's more than one way to use these templates. Like, that's what we did with the, um, we didn't print the mats out, but the love story, you know, we printed off the main bases. But you can also just literally print off the matte template pages onto your patterned paper or your muted backgrounds. You don't have to do the tracing thing, but this way we use all these large cutoff pieces that we have left over from other projects um, in our scrapper keeper. Then this will go here, right, like that, and this, see, see, see where we're going with that, doesn't that look good? Okay, 
then that will go there. So what do we need? We need something here. So I think we should use some pattern paper there. And will uh, small cutoff pieces work there? I think they will. There's the map. Oh, no, they're just a little too short. That's okay. Or a little too small. That's not wide enough. So, let's see. These are just smaller pieces that I have. Where's the uh, envelopes? Oh, yeah. Do I have another piece of that that's smaller? All right, let's let's use let's use this. Okay. And then we're going to just well I'm trying to figure out why that has that on there so that will go there be an angle so you'll still see that that's cute okay I'm gonna ink both of these up and attach them down and I'll be right back okay so those are attached down and so it's gonna go here and that's gonna go there and then let's stick it in the book real quick and see what that's gonna look like so now what we need is we need some like letters and things coming out from there so that looks really cute okay so I'm gonna get my pieces that I've cut up already one of these is the actual mat here it is for this envelope but I'm gonna use it to trace onto some just regular paper I'm gonna use this pink muted background and I'm just going to trace this out like that throw that back trace that Throw that back. Trace that. So this is going to be one insert. And then I'm wondering if I should get my build embellishments out. Because I've got like postcards and things in there. Um, that might be cute sticking out from there. Just some interactive things that could be pulled out, you know. See how thin this paper is. It's just regular old copy paper or printer paper or whatever. So I'm just gonna fold it with my fingers, right? So then this can be kind of in that ripped part there. We can kind of have that. You could write a little special note if I can get this in here. Goodness. We can have it kind of sticking out, you know. We're going to have to ink that up first. But then, let's get, let's look through the build embellishments. So, set one, I don't think set one has any sort of postcards or anything like that in it. Set two does. Um, we got little postcards. Let's keep this here. Where I printed them smaller and we got bigger postcards. Heck, we can even if we wanted to, we could stick something in there like that. Or we could have them um, like just tucked in behind. So we have this, 
All right, and this will be here, so we can even have them sticking out of the pocket below there if we want it to. So let's see here. Um, still set two here, set three. I don't think set three has any postcards in it. Flipping my pages too. I know set four does. And letters. You know, we could put that, but then that kind of blocks that. I don't know, that's too big. I don't want one so big. Postcard. That'll be the same way. It'll block, unless I've got a smaller one printed out. Ooh, I wonder if I got a smaller one. Let's see. I usually. There's the smaller. I bet you I don't have one of those. Might be too small. Oh, I've got a vellum one. That one actually go in there like that. Ooh, a second. We could have several things. Should we do that? Let's see. Maybe, maybe we can. Do a few of those, that'd be cute. Okay, let's do those. Okay, so now let's go ahead and ink these up. This one I've actually folded a little bit. But this way it looks like old, you know, an old beat up paper. Let's go ahead and ink the back side. These were just printed, these were printed onto cardstock. And this one obviously is printed on regular old copy paper. You know what? I think a two, I want to just like kind of beat this up a little bit. You know, the edges. Okay, let's see. in here. I know I didn't ink up the inside of the letter, but so it kind of looks like that. What do you guys think? Do we like? I like. I think that's going to look Super cute. Now we may we may have to eventually trim these down a little bit to get them in and out easier. But let's go ahead and attach this down to the pocket. Let me move this just in case. I don't want to glue anything down to the pocket. So I just need to be careful. I'm going to use FiberTac this time. This is FiberTac by Beacon. I'm going to use that because it's a little bit thicker of an embellishment here. And I'm going to try to only get it where it's going to be Ooh. on the pocket there, the little mini pocket. Like that. Hopefully I did good. And I did. Right, let me hold it for just a second. Whoops, then my strings get bunched up. Okay, I like 
like it. And this goes in here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Although, I'm not really digging how it's sticking out so far. But, it's because I don't have this glue down over here very well. Alright, I'm going to stick some glue in there and I'm going to, maybe I'll pinch it closed with something to hold it, hold it down. And it moved. I'm just going to use a binder clip and let that dry for a minute. Okay, so I was just sitting there thinking while this was drying, um, I put that binder clip on there. But you know, we still have all of these rusted clips uh, from when we did the video, um, Let's Rust Some Stuff. I will link that below. Well, why couldn't we use one of those there and it be like part of it, you know? That is cute. And I feel like maybe we should maybe put something um, on that little tail there. What do you think? Or should we have it going this way? Um, let's see. I've got my covers. So I've got all the seam binding here, and it might be kind of cute to put the blue seam binding on there. So this was you made, um, I, I said, I think I told you guys in another video. I don't have to go back and look, so <laughs> I don't remember. But we can maybe put some little seam binding on that little loop there. So this one's the blue one. And... How do I want to do this? I could just tie it or I could do it like we were doing a tag. Or you could have given yourself some more room. But whoops. Goodness. Try that again. through there. Come on. Fold pieces. Here we go. Just to give it some interest, you know. So let's cut these ends off a little bit. I think that's so cute. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Should we put anything else on there? I think we could leave it for now. So I really like that. I really like the way that turned out. I think that's cute. Okay. So here's my thoughts. Um, this one, this page actually opens up like this. And there's a pocket. And then it opens up like this. And there's two full, you know, where you could just go and mat the whole thing if you wanted to. But since we don't have that many scraps of the paper line, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip those and wait. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do the main pages of everything before we do um, things like this. And before we do inserts and that kind of thing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, plus I don't feel good today, so I think that we're going to call this one done for now. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to check the show more or description box for other videos and playlists and, um, the templates and all of that will be down there. Um, there will be a link here to my shop as well. And then don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. There's, um, a little button here that you can push. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.